low testosterone has become a big issue for men's health over the last several years. At uh, some point, I forget, five or ten years ago, those commercials started to appear. And the answer, of course, uh, is to just give the dudes some testosterone. There's never any discussion about how is it that a guy develops low T. So it turns out that chronic inflammation is the primary driver of uh, the perpetuation, the development and perpetuation of low T, i.e. low testosterone. So this is an interesting paper published over six years ago now in a really respected journal. You can see the title, Inflammatory Links Between Obesity and Metabolic Disease. And what they show us here on the top left is the anti-inflammatory state that is normal. So you have your homeostatic anti-inflammatory blue immune signals. Yellow is body weight, so you can see very small, normal. Uh, red is pro-inflammatory signaling, pro-inflammatory chemistry. So when one is normal weight, they have a normal body weight, they have low pro-inflammatory signaling, and they have homeostatic or anti-inflammatory immune signaling. So look what happens to the brain as we flame. And if you uh, check out one of my previous videos on adipose tissue, adipose opathy, and chronic inflammation, you'll know that the that as we add body fat due to eating overeating sugar, flour, and refined oils like donuts, cookies, etc., the body flames up, we gain weight, the body flames up, and then it turns out that this process flames the entire body. So the brain goes from a normal state of inflam of normal state of body chemistry to a inflamed state. Now right here you can see hypothalamic inflammation. When this happens, people feel hungry even if their gut is full of food, which is so abnormal and such an odd paradoxical mental experience to have. Adipose tissue we talked about previously. So you have your anti-inflammatory, so your red uh, immune cells are pro-inflammatory when you're lean. You have all these healthy anti-inflammatory immune cells in your next to your fat cells. But then the fat cells get big as we sugar and flour and refine oil up. The fat cells get bigger. Look what happens. The anti-inflammatory immune cells leave, disappear from the adipose tissue, and it's, they're replaced by pro-inflammatory immune cells. So now the adipose tissue uh, is in a state of adipose opathy, and the immune cells are dumping inflammatory chemistry chronically. This happens in the liver. Here is your normal liver, anti-inflammatory immune cells, pro-inflammatory immune cells, lipid accumulation. This is fatty liver. One out of four adults in America have steatosis, which means fat accumulation in the liver, and anaphylate stands for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, caused by what? Insulin resistance. Look at normal skeletal muscle. Lean, beautiful, healthy. As we flame up and the body fat accumulates and the adipose tissue changes and everything else changes, we have immune cell infiltration of skeletal muscle along with uh, fat accumulation. Look at our nice anti-inflammatory blood cells or blood vessels. And then once the flame goes on, the lumen narrows. Here's your pancreas. These pancreas is this is where your uh, these these cells here are called beta cells, and they produce insulin. When the flame goes on, look what happens. The immune cells infiltrate and start to gobble up flamed up beta cells. So the entire body flames. And we talked about this. Uh, briefly in the uh, uh, increased body fat and chronic inflammation pain video published recently. So adipose apathy, sick fat syndrome. Here's our guy again. There's Big Daddy. All these inflammatory changes occur and you can see the various organs uh, where they occur. I'm getting to low T, but I want to show you that the entire body flames. So there's Big Daddy. So here he is, this big lump in the middle. When someone has this, they are much more likely to have low testosterone. They don't feel like men anymore. It's a terrible state if you speak to some of these guys. They just feel 
feminized. They're, and and a, the proper term would be metabolically feminized. So it turns out uh, the, the topic in the Deflame Diet book, the topic of many of most of my videos is about how endotoxin from gram-negative bacteria cause the flame and sugar and flour cause the flame. So look at the top of this paper, gut endotoxin. So endotoxin from gut bacteria lead to what? A decline in gonadal function. So endotoxin, driver of low T. Look at this paper, low testosterone. This is from back in 2011, low testosterone, metabolic syndrome. So how does this work? Here are your cells right here. These are called Leydig cells. Leydig cells are the cells in the men that produce testosterone. So look what happens. Adipose tissue mass accumulates. The adipose tissue mass, pro-inflammatory white cells, dump pro-inflammatory chemistry into circulation. The pro-inflammatory chemistry turns off Leydig cells. What is the outcome? Low T. What is the answer or part of the answer? Gotta get deflamed. I could have put low testosterone here. I could have put male feminization down here as part of the big flame. So what the guys need to do, gentlemen, if you have this problem or are moving in that direction, you got to get rid of flamey foods. Wipe them out of your diet. Replace them with vegetation. Read the Deflame Diet. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube.